an unlikely candidate for harboring life has emerged. Miranda, one of Uranus's small and mysterious moons. Recent findings suggest that beneath its icy exterior, it might host a hidden ocean. This discovery is groundbreaking, expanding our understanding of where life might exist beyond Earth and challenging assumptions about habitable environments. In this video, we'll explore this discovery in detail, diving into how this ocean was detected, what makes Miranda so unique, and how it connects to recent advancements in planetary exploration. The possibility of Miranda having a subsurface ocean was highlighted in a 2024 study published in the Planetary Science Journal, led by planetary scientist Tom Nordheim from Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory. With contributions from researchers like Caleb Strom and Alex Pathoff, the team re-examined images and data from NASA's Voyager 2, which offered our only close-up view of Miranda in 1986. By reanalyzing this data using advanced computer models, the team observed features consistent with subsurface heating, an indication of liquid water. This ocean, if present, would lie beneath an icy crust about 19 miles, 30 kilometers, thick, with estimates placing the ocean depth at an astonishing 62 miles, 100 kilometers. That's remarkably large for a small moon, just 235 kilometers in radius, which is significant because Miranda's distant location, about 1.7 billion miles from the sun, subjects it to extreme cold, making it an unlikely place for liquid water. Yet, the evidence from Voyager data, combined with modern modeling techniques, suggests that internal heat sources may be sustaining a liquid ocean. Scientists traditionally thought of habitable zones as areas close enough to stars to maintain surface water. Now, Miranda's ocean suggests that hidden habitats might exist much farther from a star, provided that internal heating mechanisms are at play. Miranda's striking geological features have fascinated scientists since Voyager 2's flyby. This moon's surface is a mosaic of towering cliffs, deep canyons, and unusual regions known as coroni, trapezoidal, oval areas with layered patterns. These features, appearing almost like stitched together pieces from different worlds, suggest a history of intense geological activity. Tidal heating is likely a major factor behind this moon's unusual activity. This process occurs due to the gravitational pull between it Uranus and nearby moons. As it orbits Uranus in a slightly elliptical path, the varying distance causes its structure to stretch and compress, generating heat through friction inside. This same process is seen on other moons with potential oceans, like Jupiter's Europa and Saturn's Enceladus. On this moon, internal heat might be responsible for features known as coronae, oval-shaped patterns on the surface. Scientists believe these coronae could form when warmer material from below pushes up through the icy crust, creating unique surface patterns. This suggests that it has been geologically active, with tidal heating keeping water beneath its frozen surface in liquid form. Even at such a great distance from the sun, tidal heating demonstrates how small celestial bodies can generate enough warmth to potentially support life in extreme environments. This discovery aligns with a growing body of evidence that ocean worlds might be more common than we once thought. In recent years, missions have uncovered strong indicators of subsurface oceans on moons, such as Jupiter's Europa, Saturn's Enceladus, and even Titan. These findings have revolutionized astrobiology, revealing that places previously considered inhospitable could have environments capable of supporting life. For example, Enceladus has plumes of water vapor and ice erupting from its surface, detected by NASA's Cassini spacecraft in 2005. These geysers originate from a global subsurface ocean and contain organic compounds, hinting at a rich chemical environment. Europa, meanwhile, is believed to harbor an ocean beneath an icy shell, potentially twice the volume of all Earth's oceans. 
NASA's upcoming Europa Clipper mission, set for the 2030s, will investigate the Moon's habitability by closely examining its ice shell and possible plumes. The possibility of an ocean on Miranda adds to this exciting list, suggesting that even small and distant moons could sustain conditions necessary for life. If Miranda's ocean does exist, it could host a range of dissolved minerals and salts, creating an environment similar to Earth's hydrothermal vent ecosystems. These vents, located deep within Earth's oceans, support diverse life forms despite the lack of sunlight, relying on chemical reactions for energy. This pattern of discovering subsurface oceans on icy moons has also driven interest in further exploration. To fully understand Miranda's potential, we'll need a dedicated mission to Uranus, one that could study its moons up close. Current discussions in the scientific community suggest that a mission to Uranus could deploy instruments capable of probing Miranda's icy crust, using radar to analyze its internal structure and search for direct evidence of an ocean. Such a mission would yield insights into Miranda's geology and further clarify whether it has the right conditions to support life. The broader implications of studying ocean worlds like Miranda extend beyond the question of habitability. By exploring these moons, scientists can learn more about the geological and thermal processes that drive planetary evolution. Each new discovery about these distant moons offers clues about the conditions that might foster life, not only within our solar system, but also on exoplanets and moons orbiting other stars. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on the latest discoveries in space science. Let us know in the comments what you think about Miranda's hidden ocean and where you'd like to see future missions explore. Until next time, keep looking up.